All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 20 of my WWE 2K19 Universe Mode. Today, of course, we've got NXT UK, and it's going to be the final episode before Backlash. As you can see by the calendar here, we're going quite a way. Obviously, you can't go back to April because it doesn't like you for some reason, but we've done two weeks in May now, and we're on the final show before the big first pay-per-view, the inaugural pay-per-view. And as you can see on the calendar, TakeOver hasn't been put in there yet, but I'll do that later. But anyway, big show tonight. We've got the biggest main event so far of NXT UK brand's history. But before that, we've got Tyler Bate taking on Eddie Dennis to open the show. We've got both the Mustache Mountain members in singles action tonight. First time reappearing since uh, winning the Tag Team Championships on the first episode of NXT UK. And then we've got... Noam Dar taking on the other member of Mustache Mountain, obviously Trent Seven. Following that will be the number one contenders match between Imperium and Gallus, Fabi uh, Fabian Eichner and Marcel Bartel taking on Joe Coffey and Mark Coffey. And then we've got Piper Niven taking on Isla Dawn. So our um, women's match, all the women's matches on NXT UK so far have been crazy. And then the main event, of course, the big beefy main event for the United Kingdom Championship. We've got Pete Dunne, the Bruiserweight, taking on Walter. Both these guys, I'm trying to, let me just go back and look at my notes. Pete Dunne defeated Wolfgang and Walter defeated Travis Banks. First opportunity, they also had warm-up matches last week. Pete Dunne beating Travis Banks and Walter defeating Jackson Riker of the Forgotten Sons. Don't know what condition they'll be in tonight because those were some hard hitting matches. Alright, without further ado, let's start the show. I'm looking forward to doing the first pay per view though. I'm looking forward to Backlash. Enough of the preliminaries. Here we go. Single Make sure everything's set up as it should next. be. Alright, all good. Let's go with the first match. Up next, we have singles action. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date versus a formidable opponent. You don't want to miss it. Eddie Dennis, I think he's only made one prior appearance to this. I think he faced Travis Banks. Which I remember. It was Travis Banks. Travis Banks got a night off because he's been every NXT UK so far. Every NXT UK show. Tonight gets a night off to re uh, to re recover and heal some of those injuries. I'm just giving him a little break. Mustache Mountain haven't wrestled since they won the tag titles, though. Like I mentioned, so they might be a bit rusty. Although it's only been three weeks. Obviously, it's going to take longer to load these matches because there's customs involved. The crowd booing, and that's because Eddie Dennis is on his way out. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Cardiff, Wales, weighing in at 220 pounds. Dennis. Guys, what better way to start the night off than with this one? I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten and Dennis just yet, making his way to the ring here. This will be a tough match to Looking follow. confident as always. We've only had one match on the NXT UK so far and he didn't get the victory in it. So much why he's looking so confident. Especially when his opponent isn't going to exactly be the easiest to beat. Here comes like this kid. Bright, bright future for Tyler Bay, one half the NXT UK he Tag Team Champions. From Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, one half of the Tag Team Tyler Bay. 
one half of the tag team Tyler Bate. Pretty stellar announcement. I'm not sure why he's just showing the default tag team titles. But we know he's NXT UK tag team champion anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Got a very unique style in the ring. Mixture of Japanese strong style, British catch wrestling with his own very unique gentlemanly flair. And the fans, as you can see, have missed he's Tyler Bate boys. here. He's got the technical expertise. And they First one half future. of Mustache Mountain. Master at In real life, he's going to be challenging for the UK Championship a tick over Cardiff, but... That's real life. That's not within universe mode. Tyler Bate coming back after recovering from that ladder match. Not a ladder match, the elimination match to take on Eddie Dennis. Eddie Dennis with a headlock takedown. And Dennis gets the early advantage. Now Dennis backing Bate into a corner. Referee asking for a clean break, and it's not going to get one. Cheap shot by Dennis. Nailed it. From belly to belly. Working around a block by Dennis. And Eddie Dennis means business here. Must be taken seriously in the next year. Came a back suplex from Tyler Bate. Slows down the roll. Of the former school teacher and a suplex of his own, kept up by Bait. Hey, how's it going? Hi, Pumpkin Egg. Um, not too bad. Kind of tired though, <laughs> to be honest. Welcome to the stream. Face first goes Dennis, and it ends the Gary by Tyler Bait. And Bait seems to come back into this match now. He's caught Dennis here. And a boot takes down the former school teacher. Bait looking to suplex Eddie Dennis here. Blocked by Dennis. And a suplex of his own. Oh, man. Need the doors that see them, a back door or a front door closed into the house. So. He's taking some just be offense. warned. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank, though. Bait try to fight back out. This is Donald Stretch. He Elbows to be in pretty good shape. So like a Dennis. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense Arm drag. tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. right there gonna take more than that he's not looking like himself here he's gonna want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control you seem more motivated than ever heading into this match which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him Ooh, what a punch that's how you stop your opponent Tyler Bate just too fast for him Keep his shoulders down. It's way too early. Setting it up. Oh, brain buster. Setting it up. Oh, brain. He's going for the pin. He's a long way from the three count, I can tell you that. No, nah, not yet. Too early. Sorry about being mute for so long, I was talking to my parents. Tyler Bates still in control. No German suplex, deadlifting Dennis. He's in big trouble. 
Headlock, a punch, Dennis is busting it open. Dennis to the outside. He has something big planned. Back in comes Dennis. No. Reversed it. Face first goes Tyler Bate in the cover now. By Eddie Dennis. Kick out. They're choking the life out of Tyler Bate. Better be careful not to get disqualified. Oh my goodness, crushing it. Looks like he's starting to tire. And at this point, you have to wonder if he can. looking for the big boot. This. Off the ropes comes Bate. Straight into Dennis with that rolling kick. This guy just refuses and to Eddie quit. Dennis what fights out. We take a lot more to take him down. But realizes that maybe he thinks it's too early to go for a Tyler driver. Attempt at the German suplex again. Eight blocks Dennis with an elbow. And face first goes Eddie Dennis. Tyler Bate hasn't missed a beat in a couple of weeks. He's been off. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eddie Dennis down on the mat. And now Tyler Bate, top rope. What do I have to do to put this match to rest? I don't know. I don't know as a WWE. Look at this. 450. He's looking for the win. Tyler Bate. Feels like it's too soon. Dennis might make him regret that. Oh, well, I think Dennis probably would have kicked out anyway. Shot to the back by Bate. Black suplex. Now the top once again goes Bate. He has him right where he wants him. Lining He's up Eddie Dennis. Cross body. Now he's calling Dennis up if the referee moves out the way. He's close to being done here. Oh boy. Kick blocked by Dennis and a kick down. And if he hits this, this one's Big boot avoided by Bate. Like Pretty sure I just grappled him, but okay, game. Eddie Dennis now throws Tyler Bate to the outside. Fans booing here. On, he dodges out of the way. And Tyler Bate, Tyler Driver on the outside. Slightly obstructed by that light in the sky, or light on the ceiling, I should get. I should say, really, not the sky. I don't know why that's there. <laughs> I don't know why it obstructs so much of the view. Bringing it back into the ring. And Tyler Bate. Now roll up. Dennis just slightly getting the shoulder up. He turns it around on bait. Neck crank by Dennis. Big boot connects. Will that be all here? How is Tyler Bate? He's got the shoulders down. Tyler Bate digging deep. I just don't know what it's gonna take. Now Dennis taking it, taking off a turnbuckle. Tyler Bate looking for a small package. Dennis kicks out. Bait now. Shoulder tackle. Drop down. Leapfrog. And the rolling kick. Oh. Dennis expected it. Great 
job escaping, trying to turn it around. Into the turnbuckle. Now you're Dennis in perfect position. For Tyler Bate to finish this one off. He wants it one more time. And a Tyler driver. Dennis kicks out again. Are you, what is this man made of? I should have known from the Travis Banks match. He's going to pop a hell of a fight. German suplex on bait and a cover. There's a pin now. Referee try to fix the turnbuckle. One. And he doesn't stay down. And that might cost Eddie Dennis Not a count there. Looking for the big, big boot once right. again. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. Remind Dennis. me, how many times have we seen that tonight? I lost track. Taking off another turnbuckle. Tyler Bate fighting back up with a hurricane runner. Outside goes Eddie Dennis once again. And now off the ropes, Bate. Pretending he's going to charge him off instead, just bringing him back in. Although not bringing him back in because Eddie Dennis has reversed it. And Bate goes face first. Absolutely not. He's not going to go quietly. Blocked by Bate. Rolling yeah. kick, picking Eddie Dennis up once again. Here we go. And is he going to finally do it? Tyler Driver. And Tyler Bain finally gets win. a victory. Wow. After a pretty competitive match. Eddie Dennis. A match can't live up to the hype, guys, but that hit that big sure boot, did. tried to go for that finisher, but couldn't connect with it. Tyler Bain. Able to tile driver for a second time within the he ring. He hit one outside the ring as well. I'm not sure what Eddie Dennis is quite made of. Fans got their money's worth from the opening but in the end, the Mustache Mountain Man wins the match just about. That's what I love about the WWE. A match that lives up to expectations, but still finds a way to surprise us. Good stuff. Tyler Bate even tried roll-ups just to get the victory, but Dennis kicked out every time as well. In the end. It was a Tyler Driver that put down and that's a Eddie Dennis. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. Plenty more action. Corey Graves think Tyler Bate will soon compete in the main event, but maybe he will. I don't know. But up next is Mustache Mountain partner is in action as Trent Seven takes on Norm Dar. The match we have next is going to be awesome. Stay where you are. We have one of the best on talents on the roster today. Trent Seven. On some tough competition. Up next you here on NXT it. UK. Nondar's not the smoothest of starts. He was originally meant to be on 205 Live, but wanted to move back to NXT, or wanted to move to NXT UK, I should say. I can't remember where he is in real life, not to be honest with you. I don't know if he's on 205 or NXT UK. But within this universe mode, he's on NXT UK and he's going to have to face the other Mustache Mountain member, Trent Seven. Let's get into it. They call, I think they called him Scottish Supernova. For sure, that was his nickname at one point. The Scottish Supernova. There we go. Making his way to the ring from Air Scotland, weighing in at 178 pounds, Noam Dar. Noam Dar making his way to the ring might not be included in next year's game, depending on. Depending on the fact that he's barely featured on WWE this year. I mean, he's been in the NXT UK, but he's had injuries left, right, and center. I don't know if he'll be in the next game. He's not bad to play as, but there's always a lot more in the game that you'd rather play as than him. So I don't know. 
Norm Dar Think back to a couple looks years ready. Ago and Norm Dar's performance in the Cruiserweight Classic. And since then, has become a cornerstone. So fans to calm down. There's one thing you don't tell UK fans to do, and that is calm down. Norm Dar's got a difficult opponent to come up against. Here he is. The other tag Here's champion. From England, in Trent Seven. Pounds, one half of the NXT champions, Brent Severn. So, Tyler Bate was one half of the tag team Tyler Bate. And, um... Trent Seven's one half of the NXT champions. I have to get some new belts. <laughs> These ones don't seem to work. Whatever. Trent Seven. So his partner Tyler Bate win, and he wants to uh, continue the winning trend, I guess. I mean, obviously you do. If your partner's won, you don't want to be seen as a weak link. But I, guess, I don't think either of those guys in the team are really the weak link. I'm being completely honest. Trent Seven. Ready to take on anyone. And uh, tonight he's got to take on Norm Dar. Dar and Seven. They tie up with each other here. And Dar overpowering Seven here, surprisingly. Seven. Stronger man, but Dar seems to be oh, it seems to be overpowering Seven there in a clean break. You wouldn't expect that from Norm Dar, right to be now. honest. But I mean, he's given the clean break, so you can't really be mean to him. Down to one knee goes Dar, the hands Seven. That's wrenching that arm. We're at a crossroads. Once again, and now Seven back backing up here. Dar into the corner. Another clean break. No one's backing down here. Neither of these men can get well get in, in the lead, I guess. Seven. Got the arm behind Nondar's head. Dar with the arm now behind Seven's back. Seven turning it around. And these guys are just at a stalemate right here. Oh, nasty impact. Dar just wrenching on Seven's arm. Seven breaking out. And Dar with a crucifix into a roll up. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell Too you. early. Too early in the match to end it. Trent Seven. Non Dar escapes. Led to a corner now. Goes. The Mustache Mountain Man. No, I'm Dar thinking. Not sure what he's thinking, but seven uh -oh. locks it, hooking the arms to Tiger oh, Suplex. <laughs> Chopped to Dar. Another shot this time blocked. Left hand by Norm Dar. Dropped to hold reversal by seven. And an inverted power slam. Wow. Inverted power slam. And a drop That's kick. Here. And Trent Seven, just like his partner Tyler Bate, doesn't Let's seem to have missed a beat in the couple of weeks he's been off. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. The good news for him Norm is Dar he doesn't, appear to have taken doesn't too seem to be able to fight in this match. Oh. Neckbreaker, though, never mind. Forget I said anything. Stomp on the face of Seven. And this could be Norm Dar's avenue back into this match. He's not in a good spot Kicks here, guys. against the ropes. He simply needs to find a way to Seven just chopping the leg. Another tiger suplex. Shining wizard by Trent Seven. Nam Dar not in the most favorable positions. Splash their back. And the NXT UK universe chatting NXT. Fans enjoying what they're seeing here. Seven 
Now he's arm trapped and low dark. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. Oh man, his chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on so much punishment. This match certainly isn't trending in the right direction for him. He's gonna need a change in momentum and fast. No, I'm Dar just can't see the fight back here against Seven currently. Dar blocking the suplex. Into the corner now goes seven. Drop kick by Dar. No, I'm Dar just trying to fight back in now. Seven's had the majority of the control, I would say, in this match. But that seems to have turned around now because no, I'm Dar. Gonna work and go work on the arm. Might impact the way that Prince Seven goes to that seven star Lariat. He's stomping on the hand, actually. Across the ring now, Trent Seven goes. Drop kick, no, no, no. Once again, now Dar tried to take Seven he down. Seven kicks him off. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Now Trent Seven gonna show him how it's done. Drop down, Not leapfrog. They collide into each other at Seven. Back drop. This could be all she wrote. The elbow blocked by Dar. Smart counter by Noam Dar. And so ropes now is seven. Grinkles kicks again, but seven able to block him. Noam Dar blocking seven. Seven days now. It's going to be Dar's opportunity. Back into the corner once again. Dar likes going for his corner moves, I've noticed. What a strike. Strike to the chest and striking him again. Across the ring. Harsh impact. Tom Dar literally has no stamina nice at the moment. The oh, he just takes out a leg out from underneath Dar. Not going for the arm. The match, leg drop in the arm. Rolling through and taking down Dar. Noam Dar reverses Enziguri. The speed of Noam Dar. Helps him fight back in here. Off the ropes once again. Back body drop from the Scottish Supernova. Back elbow from seven. And a clothesline to the outside. Seven up top. Uh oh, he's in trouble here. Lining up. Noam Dar. He's close to being done here. Incoming. He Dar avoids and runs away. Seven. He doesn't let him run away for long. Turning around, Dar. Oh dear. The right hand from seven should do it here. Gets the shoulder up loud. And Noam Dar gets his shoulder up. He's stalking his opponent. Trent Seven top rope. Leg drop connects perfectly. He knows he's in trouble. Trent Seven second rope, calling up Scottish Supernova. Okay, well. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. Roll up now by seven. What is keeping this competitor going? Dar fights out again. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Locking him for a suplex, but Dar reverses. And a clothesline. Cover on Trent Seven. And a kick out. And we continue. I know I'm doing what Eddie Dennis is doing to Trent Seven's teammate. Off. Scottish sickle. Scottish sickle by Noam Dar. Off the ropes. Drop kick to the leg. I know I'm Dar might be setting up for that kick. Looks like he is. Trent blocks. 
He's looking at it. And the right hand. This one is and now seven. Backing up. Calling Dar to his feet. He's teetering on the edge here. Seven star lariat blocked by Dar. Needle. By seven. And another attempt not to get by Noam Dar. Northern Light Suplex into a cover. Seven fights out. I just don't know what it's gonna take. Now once again. The kick locked again by seven. These guys seem to know each other very well. Momentum clearly in his Another right hand. How is Mom Dar not out from those right hands? I don't know, but Trent Seven going for it one more time. Will it be the connection that he wants off of it? Seven star Lariat. I know it's not exactly how he does it, but that's the closest I can get. And a cover now on Dar. And both Mustache Mountain members will go home from NXT UK tonight victorious. Here is your winner, Brent Severn. What a match the though. Dar was covering everything and in the end and you just know he the couldn't rest of the card keep countering. The back, and the seven star Lariat puts down Dar for the count. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. Brent Severn and Tyler Bate. Victory is on the return to NXT UK, but up next we've got number one contenders match to see who will face Mustache Mountain at NXT TakeOver UK between Imperium and Gallus. Battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. We have a team led by a real fan favorite against a tuned group of combatants. A real fan oh, favorite? Joe. None of these guys are fan favorites. For being honest. Both these teams disliked by the NXT UK universe. But one of them will go on to face Mustache Mountain for the tag team titles down the line. And I mean, it's going to be, whether they like it or not, that's what's going to happen, I guess. I don't really know how to finish the sentence. It'll take a long time to load because it's four custom guys. I'm just going to take a quick drink while this loads. Here we go. Who will go on to face to the ring. At a combined weight Mustache of Mountain? Of course. I'm pretty sure Eichner and Bartel Guys, were involved in that four-way for the inaugural, well, the inaugural match for the like tag titles. We haven't even they were indeed. Yet. I don't remember when they got eliminated, but they've got another chance here. And they look prepared. Uh oh. But are they prepared though? Without Wolfgang tonight, just the two of them Joe Coffey and Mark Coffey, the Coffey brothers. 
Two thirds of Gallus. And their opponents at a combined weight of 489 pounds. Joe and Mark. And this could be one hell of a tag team title match. This is the one this crowd has been waiting for, guys. Tag team action coming up. I can't wait, Michael. Like this crowd, I've had my eyes on this match ever since it was announced. They look like they're not going to be beaten tonight. And maybe they won't be. These two monsters weren't in the Fatal 4-Way match on the first episode of NXT UK. So interesting fact here, Eichner and Coffey going to be starting off the match. I mean, both Coffeys are, <laughs> they're both Coffeys. I mean, Joe Coffey will start off the match with Fabian Eichner, suplex. Hoping to one day make it to the big stage. Better be watching this match with a notepad in hand because you can bet this is going to be... I know Eichner's got the best of him chain grappling here. Got, the, got his arm behind him. I'm working on it as well. And I don't think this is how next, how Gallus wanted to start this match. Imperium got the perfect start here. Eichner taught and never mind. Hooked Coffee up. taking advantage. Inverted and suplex. suplex. Eichner was taught in too early, and now Gallus looking to take advantage. And this is gonna be a hard hitting tag team match. Both these teams fighting to face Tyler Bate and Trent Seven. Those coveted UK tag titles. Shoulder tackle by Coffey. Looking to take, uh, take him over even to his corner. And in comes Mark. And Eichner in a bit of trouble now. Leg dropped to the arm by Mark Coffey. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. On the receiving end of an elbow by Coffey and not, well, well, I guess not what Imperium wanted. They had a good start on Coffey, but ever since Eichner taught it, it hasn't been going well for them. However, Eichner has reversed the belly to belly, and he's trying to tag into Bartel. In the woods, Kingston and Biggie. Bartel comes in. But I'll give the New Day this. And on the top oh no was when their tag team championship reign last coffee in seven. trouble double back suplex off the top fans booing that but i thought it was kind of impressive jawbreaker straight to mark coffee now bartel and coffee legal men small package suplex or by a fisherman's angle, call it fisherman's chops now being doled out. And a side slam by Mark Coffey. And if his tag team venture doesn't work out, hell, these guys could be good solo wrestlers. Joe Coffey's proven how good he is as a solo In wrestler. But he's realized that for now he's not going to get a shot at the UK title. He might as well try and go for the tag titles. Natalia and Carmella. The rivalry between these women is so Uppercut, uh, avoided, I should say, by Coffey. And, and now Joe Coffey, Flads, Bartel on the knee, and this is a problem now. I think only a group is treacherous as Joe well. Coffey going Betty for the arm now. Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence into the corner. The Irish last kicker turned the tide and get back into the match. And coffee was elementary from there. Tagging out their coffee. Superstar. They did an excellent job. Stomping. I don't know why I'm talking about the welcoming the committee. And that's one of the worst stories ever. I don't know why I want to keep bringing that up. For the Staten Island princess to do, but the Martel trying to make it to Agner now. And he's going to get there. What a strike. 
Martin Coffey getting uppercutted by Fabian Eichner. But close line from Coffey. And the power of Gallus might be too much here for Eichner and Bartel. And now might be a good time to give him what he wants. Yeah, but if you count Mark about Coffey. now, guys, you'd be making Martin a very into the good mistake. Now. Joel. What's Bartel doing here? He goes for the cover. The cover. The Bartel with the breakup. The match alive. Not sure why Bartel's even in the ring, to be quite honest with you. Not again. Wow. One of these Jawbreaker. The this has just turned out to a brawl now. Joe Coffey. Reverse Locking Eichner. Into the corner. Dodges a bullet there. Eichner turns it around. And Coffey's own corner. He's going for his power powerbomb. Knocking Mark off the apron. Looking for a cover on Joe. Kick out both men's teammates coming in. But no real worry there, a bit early for a cover. Eichner right, power slamming coffee. Excuse me, you're not escaping. And what's Eichner thinking here? Is he going to send Joe Coffee across the ring? Jesus Christ, a man that heavy. If you can do it to a man that heavy, you can do it to anyone. Four on block by Coffee. Back into the corner. Gallus are trying to make consistent tags here, and that's what Bartel and Acker haven't been doing. Both these guys just want to make tags to their teammates. Not being allowed to. Back into the corner goes Coffee, and now finally Bartel will get the tag. Close line in the sphere. Coffee try to make it out. Ooh, the other coffee. Here. I should he start saying Joe and Mark, shouldn't I? Here. Mark He's really wanted to tag. Right now. This is all but over. Both these men missing each other and now. Bat break heard a Russian leg sweep Russian by Bartel on Joe Coffee. Muscle Bartel. Oh. Uppercut, the strikes to chest admin and the uppercut. Bartel and Eichner doing a good job keeping Joe Coffey away from his brother. Right hand. Puts Coffey back down. This is smart. From Imperium. Bartel tagging back Eichner. Drop to a hold and an elbow to the back. And Coffee manages to make it across the mark. Eichner closing him down straight away. Smart maneuver by Fabian Eichner. Cover now on Mark Coffee. A one count. Eichner needs to try and keep Coffee grounded here. Wear down the other brother now since the first brother is already pretty much out of commission. And Eichner just. Relentless with the punishment here. Another leg drop. And the gator roll by Eichner. When this guy's on, look out. Harsh impact. He's not looking Followed by a headlock. And Fabian Eichner now. As Joel where he wants him. Right Sorry, no Mark, I should say. And Eichner. Power bomb of the sit out variety. And that could be all for Imperium. Could be all Imperium need. Mark Coffey fights out. Drop kick missed by Eichner. And Mark Coffey back suplex. He's in complete control now. And now Mark Coffey. Sending Agner into the corner. You don't want to be here. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see. You don't want to be here. Right now. This is amazing. What's Coffee thinking? 
Bartel trying to interfere, but he can't. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene is. Bartel try to block this. In WWE. You gotta believe this one's over. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Bartel just keeping coffee down. That would have definitely been it. Gallus would have been definitely going for the tag team titles. But Bartel saving his partner here and Eichner. Making it to his feet. The tag team scene here in WWE is undergoing a bit of a renaissance, and it's because of. And Bartel sends Mark Coffey to the outside, and Eigner landing on Coffey. You can't quite see it because of dumb light. Why are all these things in the way? Barricade now for Coffey. Imperium will do anything to be the number one contenders. They're just about showing that Coffey. Blocking Eichner, Eichner blocking Coffey. The close line to the back. Might keep Mark Coffey out of commission. Eichner telling the ref to count quicker. Ends the Gurry to Joe Coffey. Mark gets back in somehow. Eichner tagging into Bartel. Both, well, all four of these men take quite a lot of punishment this match. All the name of becoming number one contenders to tag titles, belly to belly by Mark Coffey. Like and now tag into Joe. Joe Coffey. Dead lifting Bartel. Sit out power bomb. Marcel Bartel, try fight back, ends the oh, it's a Harry Carrada getting confused now. Jawbreaker, seems to be the most effective move Bartel's used this match. Oh, and Bartel taking out the leg of the bigger Joe Coffey, smart maneuver. Knee drop, Bartel. Too bad it was awfully picking up. Though. Nobody controls the pressure. Joe Coffey. Quite like this guy. Oh, oh beautiful oh, suplex. Why is oh, Eichner? Why is Eichner breaking yeah, up the pin? I don't understand that one. Maybe he thought his tag team partner was getting pinned. Oh, I'm not sure, but. Hmm. Joe Coffey now, rolling sent on. He's too quick for him there. Eichner with the quickness. Tagged in. In comes Eichner once again. Dropped toe hold on the elbow. Gallus been on the receiving end of the pressure for a while now. Don't turn us around soon, they might be uh, out for the count. Brain Buster by Eichner. That might do it, that might do the job. Coffey somehow kicking out that Brain Buster. Knees now to the abdomen. Oh dear. And an apricot. And it could be all that she wrote here. Eichner, back in the corner. And now Eichner and Bartel. Spear, Africa. And Mark Coffey the last second. Didn't even notice he was coming in. We're gonna try this again. This might be oh my. Once again, Bartel. There's the tag. And Eichner going for that finish. Maybe it'll work if it's turned around. Although Eichner 
with a spear, Bartzell. Mark Coffey couldn't get up in time. So Bartel tried to jump Here's on Coffey there, the but it didn't matter because Eichner had the pin on Joe. Check him out here. In a slightly messy tag team match. These superstars gave Imperium will take on Mustache Mountain. Money's worth from the opening belt. And the first NXT UK takeover for those UK tag team championships. And this is how he ended it. And what's the most interesting is Walter is an Imperium and Pete Dunne is British Strong Style, which is like Mustache Mountain's outer stable, I guess. So we're seeing Imperium and British Strong Style in the main event. I mean, we've seen that for tag titles. That's interesting and intriguing. Anyway, up next, we've got the women's match between, I believe, Piper Niven, or Niven, I don't know how you pronounce it, and... Isle of Dawn. Solid UK, NXT UK show so far. We've had Tyler Bate defeat Eddie Dennis, Trent Seven defeat Noam Dar, and Imperium become number one contenders as they knocked off Gallus in that tag team match just there. I've got Piper Niven. I'm going to just say Niven, I don't even know. I could just call her Piper. Niven, Piper Niven, Rylodon. I'm confusing myself now, I need to stop talking. I was going to take another quick drink because my throat is getting dry. Here comes Piper Niven. She used to be known as Viper. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I don't know much about her. Corey, I can't think of a better way to kick off this night. I don't know. Part of me hoped Saxon would have got lost on the way to the announce table. That definitely would have made things better. But no such luck. Apparently she's called a Viper now, which is why that explains her Twitter handle, I suppose. But here comes Isla Dawn. And her opponent, from Glasgow, Scotland, Isaiah Dawn. What a great match we have here to start off this I believe night, these two are the only like two women in the NXT UK women's division who haven't had a match yet. Hence well why this match is event. happening. We had Nina Samuels and Kaylee Ray, which was a a brawl. We had Ray Ripley and Tegan Knox, I believe, in which Ray Ripley won. Then we had Tony Storm and Jenny last week, in which Jenny picked up an upset victory, tapping out Tony Storm. And now we've got Piper Niven taking on Isla Dawn. She's got Viper on her on her gear. The Viper Piper. Isla Dawn with a headlock. Piper powers out of it. Drop down. Leapfrog. And Niven with a crossbody. And that's going to keep Isle on floor for a little while. And a headbutt into the abdomen. I don't know if it was meant to be a headbutt or a splash, but connected, whatever it was. Right hand by Viper Piper. That sounds so dumb, to be honest. Just go call Piper. One hand slam. 
and NXT UK Universe enjoying this match so far. It's not like it's been on for long, but 40 seconds, but. Hyper is making a name for herself. Power bomb, an early attempt to finish this. The ropes save Isla Dawn. I don't know if she would have kicked out or not. So far, it's been all Piper Niven. On the knee goes Isla. And the NXT chance begin from the UK Universe here. Let's go for another splash. There's the splash from Piper. Oh, shot to the abdomen by Isla Dawn. Just try to fight back up. Isla Dawn will be faster. Piper will be stronger. Missing the spinning back fist. And now a dragon screw leg whip from Isla Dawn. If you keep Piper grounded now, it could be Isla's match to win. Piper fighting back. Isla with the mistake of picking up. Piper now another cover off a cell power bomb. Another kick out by Isla Dawn early in this match. Knee to the head. And Piper. Cobra clutch. It looks like she's going to the Russian leg sweep. And Isla Dawn has had flurries of offense, but she hasn't been able to get properly going in this match against Piper. Off the ropes now comes Piper and crossbody again. Another cover attempt, uh, another kick out. Isla Dawn won't go down easily, but she may have no choice eventually. Running double knees there by Isla Dawn. And a, okay. That will keep any woman down, or any man down, for that matter. His vicious right hands in the cover now. On Niven. Kick out. And Piper Niven. Back elbow to Isla Dawn. Vicious right hand knocks down Isla to one knee and a head butt. And Piper came to this brand to make it her division. I don't think she'll take any less than the NXT Women's Champion, the NXT UK Women's Championship, I should say. NXT Women's Championship on a different show. But she's got a lot of competition here, including Isla Dawn with the knees to the face there. And Isla feeling herself now. Oh, right, that's why she's feeling herself. I didn't realize she had a comeback. Drop kick. And Dawn looking to finish off Piper. Piper blocking the leg. Right hand. Face first off the electric chair. And that could be all that she wrote here for Isla Dawn. These are NXT UK women. Of course, it's not going to be it. Why would it be it? Pearl against started in terms of this match. Hip attack in the corner. And now a Beal. So you know by now if you've been watching this universe that these NXT UK women take a lot of punishment. And that could help proceedings. Piper going up top. Double knees or a single knee. A knee drop possibly. I'm not sure what the plan was there. But it was avoided by Isla Dawn. And she's taking advantage of the situation. Piper just trying to get to the apron. But a cover now by Dawn. And a kick out. Now Don trying to wrench the arm of Piper here. It could be a smart move. Takes the power out of Piper's arsenal. Oh man, she is rolling now. Oh well, never mind. Ah. 
Right hand. She's off the ropes. Yeah, Close line. Takes her off her feet. That's how you An outside. Go these two women now. No limits in the NXT UK women's she division here. Take any more of this. Is she? Oh, not the outside. Not the outside. Oh, I reckon ran a reversal. No, Thank a God, reversal. Isla Thorne had a counter to it. That could have been disastrous. Isla Dawn now control the Piper on the outside off the apron. I don't care how tough you are. Slamming the leg off the concrete. Piper turning it around. Back into the ring. Goes Piper. Just throwing Isla across the ring as if she's not taking any punishment. Might be needed to overcome this beat. Now off the ropes. Drop down. Now drop down. Doesn't quite have enough for the lead for German suplex. And Isla Dawn lands on her face. And a knee now. Thank you, Super Supreme Bar, for the, uh, the host. If I can speak English, that'd be great. Isla try to counter back. She's looking to finish there, but Piper shut it down. And another cell powerbomb will that do the job. Count. Won't. She just will not go away. Uh, going to the top. Up top Pirates. now goes Piper. Calling up Isla Dawn. This might be the one that ends it. Look at this. Double axe handle shot to the abdomen. And a cover might <laughs> might put Piper out for good, to be honest. Bad landing, but a kick out anyway. Kick to the back. She's calling for it. And now Isla Dawn. I'm not sure what she's looking for here. Maybe the finish. Super kick. Into the German suplex. Time to capitalize. Let's go back and take another look. Florida Keys by Isla Dawn. And Piper maybe out for the count. She goes for the cover. Piper kicks out. That was Isla Dawn's home run shot. And she's been kicked out of. Isla and Sense now just punishing Piper. And we see a shock victory here. Isla gets away, but Piper one handed slam once again. Are we going to see it once again? She tried on the outside, which <laughs> I'm glad it didn't work, to be honest, because that would have messed up Eldon's face. But she hits the electric chair. Plants her face first, and now... Oh, dear. And Piper may have been looking for the finishing touches, but Eldon says not yet. I think they're about to. Once again, Piper has out on the corner. Can't waste too much time because that could happen. Blocked by Niven. Crossbody. Cover. And another kick up by Ladon. These women fight harder. Than I think any other division, even men's divisions, on this this universe mode. Always seems to be the women's matches. And NXT UK, it seems to stand out. There may be no coming back from this incredible right hand by Dawn. The Florida, Keys. Florida Keys again. This one is over. It took and that two, might be over now. Piper Niven the trick. may have come against a, I don't know, a very difficult force in Isla Dawn here. And Isla Dawn, victorious. 
not a good start to, to NXT UK Live for Piper Niven. Who could forget this? Every time Piper tried to take that finishing maneuver, it was That's blocked. The kind of match that makes me proud to Dial be Don, who Action fought through the and, and hit the Florida Keys. It took two you. of them, but they got the job done in the end. Tough to top that one, folks. We were lucky to be a shock to there. A match with I would it say, but Isla Dawn pulls off the shock that Jiddy pulled off last match week. Comes to an, end in thrilling an upset once again in the NXT UK the women's division. Here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. And this division is probably going to be one of the folks. one of the best. All eight women within the division now have wrestled. If you guys have any more ideas of who to bring in for NXT UK Women's Division, they will take suggestions. But now all eight women have wrestled, and I mean they've all done good accountings for themselves. But up next, a match that could be so brutal that you might even want to turn your screens off because up next is a UK Championship match between the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne and the Ring General. Walter. Big stakes here. In fact, the biggest stakes so far on NXT UK, maybe even bigger than the NXT UK Tag Team Championships, is the United Kingdom Championship being decided. And, um,. One extra rule that's just been added is if either British Strong Style or Imperium get involved in this match, they'll disqualify their guys. So say if British Strong Style get involved, they'll disqualify Pete Dunne and Walter will be the United Kingdom champion. Not British Strong Style, but Mustache Mountain. And if Imperium get involved, they'll disqualify Walter and Pete Dunne will be the UK champion. So humongous stakes in this match. Here comes the bruiser weight. The bruiser weight. Both these men equally deserving to become to UK ring. champion. From but which one of them will Will the bruiser wait? I'm so excited to see Pete Dunne get back his gold. This level because this guy is gonna be a or will Walter star, a major become UK star. champion again? An unmatched mean streak when it comes Obviously, to Walter, WWE current UK champion in real Pete life, Dunne but that doesn't carry across so universe mode. You, as far as I'm concerned, both these guys never won it, but if we're counting off of real life, then they'd be reclaiming the title. Much I guess it's whatever you guys want to think of it as. as Pete Dunne does. Pete Dunn, the bruiser weight, as they come. won't let the UK title slip through his fingers. He done enjoys winning as much as and he this is going to be a war. Upon his you, don't have to like Pete you can Dunn, win by DQ or count out and get the title. So anything's possible in this match. But here comes the ring general. Walter from Vienna, Austria, ready for action, ready to become UK champion. Walter. Now we'll go over it again. I think I'm. I think I said it at the start of the show, but Walter defeated a very game Travis Banks to get this opportunity. Pete Dunne defeated a very game Wolfgang. And then for the warm-up matches last week, it didn't get any easier. Walter had to defeat Jackson Riker. And it was a bit of a bloodbath. And then Pete Dunne decided, hey, Travis Banks deserves some more of a spotlight. And they had a match. Pete Dunne just about came out on top. Right Travis Michael. Banks literally kicked out of everything. With an injury yet, as well. Travis Banks was injured after the match with Walter. It's still accepted to face Pete Dunne. Obviously, Travis Banks now with a night off. Maybe a couple of nights off just to recuperate. Just some big matches. But these guys don't get a night off. Did 
the UK Championship. These guys will fight tooth and nail. There's nothing that these men won't do to become United Kingdom champion. Here we go. The biggest title match so far on NXT UK. Maybe on the whole universe mode because Backlash hasn't happened yet. The Bruiserweight Pete Dunne, the Ring General Walter. You've got a history. Pete Dunne, forearms. Walter trying to fight back, but Pete Dunne going all out early on here. And a DDT trying to win the title early. Not even a one count. These guys just going straight at it. Walter catches Pete Dunne, snap suplex. And now Walter takes over. This is not what Pete Dunne wanted. Pete Dunne had the early start there for a few seconds and now Walter just take it over and got the arm now I don't know why it's going to take but one of these men to keep the other down to be quite honest with you these two will battle for their lives just to become an XC UK champ got to the gut and now Walter backbreaker And the Imperium man stands over the bruiser weight. Knee to the head. He's starting to stumble here. And brutality will ensue in this match. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected. Especially considering Copy done into a suplex. Crossing the legs as well. NXT chat. And this is what you expect from NXT UK. Hard hitting, brawling sort of action. Spinning forearm by Dunn and now the boots being put to Walter. Walter we'll try to get up, but Pete Dunn. Oh, kicks the abdomen and left hand vicious. The temple of Walter. Now Walter, close line. Throwing Dodd across the ring here. And if you're Pete Dunn, you need to maybe change your strategy because Walter's power is winning out just now. Pete Dunn with a vicious left hand out the corner. Walter looking for an early submission. Knee bar. But it's way too early and Pete Dunn kicks off. The ring general and a kick to the back sends Walter down to the mat. Got him caught. Dragon screw leg whip takes down Dunn. Now Walter realizes he's in control again. A close line to the bruiser weight. Referee begins his count. Remember. The title will change hands on the count out. Obviously, I wouldn't do that if one of these guys was a champion, but because there is no champion, it can change hands by your count out. Pete Dunn now into the parricade head, but by Walter. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Back between the ropes. Oh no. Oh no. Pete Dunn in position for Walter. Fist drop over the stairs. That's impressive for a man of Walter's size. Two count. Oh, down goes Dodd. And that could be it. Walter looking for the count out victory. Oh, man. Dunn is in trouble now. Walter noticed Dunn getting back up. Drop kick blocked by Dunn. Walter tries to get some space, a kick to the abdomen by Dunn. Walter returns a favour. 
slam on the outside now. Stops to the head of the Bruiserweight. And Pete Dunne busted open already. Set it up. Suplex. Now back to the ring. Walter. What's he got in mind? Arguing with the referee saying don't count while I'm out there basically I guess. Walter doesn't want to uh, lose like that. He'd be happy to win like it, but he doesn't want to lose like it. And an eight count now. Bruiserweight struggles back to his feet. Pete Dunne covered in. All guns blazing. Walter. Back elbow. Pete Dunne. Inverted DT possibly. Walter reverses into a suplex. I don't know if you could stop the ring general tonight. Right hand. Of course the ring goes done. A left hand. Pete Dunne sends Walter to the corner and a kick. Sends Walter down. Oh dear. Ah, oh, on the nose. Nasty, nasty move. Oh, nasty. Don't go for the kick again, but Walter knew it was coming. A right hand knocked Dunn out of his shoes. Dunn getting back to his feet. Walter, double axe handle. It's been non-stop action since the bell rang between these two. Pete Dunn with the boot. This match is trending in a bad direction. And now taking right out the leg of Walter. Smart idea here. Well, Take out the vertical base of a man this big. He can't deliver his power moves. The good news for him is that he still He's still going for it. Going for it again, in fact. Oh, just hitting the leg off the canvas. Smart move here by Dunn. Walter, elbow to the abdomen of Dunn. And now, forearm to the back of their head. Pete Dunn, drag a screw leg whip. Pete Dunn really good at work on those legs. Usually you don't see him do that, but Walter is a bigger man and this is for a big prize. And Pete Dunn now returning the favor and sending Walter to the outside. That was impressive, Cole. Pete Dunn telling Walter to, to fight him. I mean, Pete Dunne will be happy to take the win by count as well because it means UK title glory. Pete Dunne with the right hands. He's got the arm of Walter now. That's a problem. That's a problem. And he stomps on it. Three count. Back into the ring goes Walter. What's Dunne thinking? Oh. Off the apron. I wouldn't be surprised if Walter he just gets slammed. Right he he Pete Dunn might have been looking for X Plex. Walter catches the leg. Oh boy, Walter misses his signature attempt. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. I don't know what Walter's thinking now. Sending Dunn to the corner. And a mahoosive chop. Beautiful Heads is in an elbow. So the already bleeding wound of the bruiser weight. And he's just going to work on it even more. It's a smart move by Volter. Done fighting back. And an STO from the bruiser weight. And you're not going to keep Dunn down for long. Covered now by Dunn on Walter. Walter with a kick point. out. Oh, right hand straight to the temple. Kick to the back. And now Dunn fighting the fingers. Any means necessary. Walter outside now. Bade Pete Dunn. And straight to the jaw goes Walter. And he realizes now he's in complete control. Oh boy. Charging done. 
through the barricade and those fans in the front row don't know what hit them. Four count now for Walter. And that could be UK title goal. I don't see Pete Dunn getting back up. Are you kidding? He's got to hurry if he doesn't want to get Are you, out here. Time's you certainly not it? on his side, Michael. He done only got up, but he's actually got the advantage of a wall here and a kick. What the hell is this man made of? Stones by Dunn now, and he's just doing everything he can. X plex by the bruiser weight. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Cover now by Don. Walter fights out at two. The heart of a warrior here tonight. And yeah, it could be time Robinson. for the better end. He's fighting back here. Walter nice. fights it off. When this guy's on, look out. Walter oh, try to bring Pete Dunn down, but uh, reversal by the bruiser weight into the corner now. Goes Walter, this is a problem now. Pete Dunn working on the arm, just tangling up into the ropes. And a forearm. Walter down in the corner now. Pete Dunn has the advantage here. Surfboard. No, not going for surfboard, just stomping on the legs. And outside once again, go, Pete Dunn and Volta go. Both men have taken a lot of punishment. Now yeah, back in. Not sure what Dunn's plan is here. Oh, Walter off the apron again. His face, I ain't going face first off of it. Pete Dunn up top. Pete Dunn rolls through. But straight to a suplex from Walter. And it connects. Walter able to switch the move on the fly there. X-plex attempt again, blocked by Walter. Forearm. Pete Dunn blocks Walter. Turns to the outside. Oh dear. DDT. Lance the ring general and that might be all that she wrote here cover by Pete Dunn Walter kicking out again Pete Dunn once again lining up for the bare end And this time it connects. Bitter end by Pete Dunn. It looks as if Bruiserweight Pete Dunn is going to be UK champion. Water Pub, one hell of a fight. But Pete Dunn is going to become champion. Walter just kicked out the bitter end at one after all the punishment that both these men have taken. Walter just kicked out the bitter end at one. What do you do if your your part if your not part or your opponent kicks out your finisher at one? Pete Dunn in sense now, taking down Walter with the leg. Trying to take out the vertical base, and now Pete Dunn is losing it here. Back on the legs again. Stomping on the thighs. Pete Dunn just trying to keep a ring general down. Obviously the best way to do that is go for the legs. Pete Dunn's work this out now. And a cover. Walter kicks out. Right hand straight to Temple again. Volter turns it around. Turns Dunn around. Now Norwich striking the arm. 
right hand and a block by Dunn. Now Dunn's not there to take down and a headlock on Walter. Will Pete Dunn be able to overpower Walter after bo both punishments taken by both men, or both the amounts of punishment taken by both men, I should say. At what point do those I mean, Walter does fight out what do I have to do to and a chop. And now Walter needs to recover a little bit here. And Walter just taking his time now, slowing down the match. Pete Dunn obviously preferring the faster pace. You can see he's the, the faster man, but Walter just slowing it down. And uh, oh my God, what's he thinking now? Sending Dunn through the ropes. What's Walter thinking? Oh no, don't tell me this is what I think it is. Power bomb on the apron. Can he finish the job? Will that finish off the bruiser weight? It could very well do. This could be it. What a phenomenal match so far. Back now inside the ring. What are these guys made of? Walter kicks out the bitter end at one. Pete Dunn fights out with the powerbomb on the apron like nothing. Close line avoided by Walter. Scoop slam. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to guess what takes both these men down. Elbow. Pete Dunn not staying down. Walter on the arm now. Usually it's Pete Dunn that goes for those arms, but Walter, he goes for those arms, he stops. Pete Dunn from hitting the bare end with as much impact. And Walter successfully wearing down the arm just a slight bit more. Reversal by Dunn. Reversal by Walter. Oh, Walter. Now he's working that exploit. Plants down on the knee. Here's his moment, Michael. Oh man, Dunn is in trouble now. Now Pete Dunn is in position here for Walter to just win this yeah, match. It's blocked by Dunn. Nothing less, Cole. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, no luck against Dunn there. Too quick. Shots the abdomen. Plex. Oh my! To think I almost wrote him off earlier. Cover once again on Volter. Okay. Way too early. What's it going to take for either of his men to put the other man down? This has been a classic UK title match. But how does one man beat the other? He's not going to go quietly. Could take a lot. Pete Dunn trying that bitter end. Volter equal to it. German suplex. Oh boy, he is Counter here. Pete Dunn blocks Walter's move. And now Walter with a gator roll. Quick Just trying to, to avoid that one. sap the life out of Dunn at this point. The crowd on the edge of their seats. Nobody has a clue who's going to win. Into the ropes now. Goes Walter. Pete Dunn just doing anything he can, choking Walter with the ropes. Beautiful technique. It might take absolutely everything Pete Dunn has and more to win this match. Great job. X Plex block. He's making a statement here with this attack. I love when I'm trying to do my signature and it presses my comeback. It's my favourite. You know, Pete Dunn. Stomping on the head of Walter. Not to the arm. Bite the fingers again. This is a hell of a championship match. It's exactly how I thought it would go. Headlock once again by Dunn. Cav Walter power out. Not quite. Pete Dunn maybe it'll keep the ring general down. Never mind, Walter powers out. There may be no coming back from this incredible beatdown. Pete Dunn, DDT attempt, cover. One, two, and he got near four. 
Vulture fights out. Both men taking a lot of punishment to the head. That could have actually been it. Look how busted up in both these men are. Walter and Pete Dunne bleeding for this title. Close line. And now Walter could have his chance. Never mind. Pete Dunne just reversing absolutely everything today. Both these men scouting each other. Pete Dunne attempting the bitter end. Walter was aware it was coming. Oh boy. Out of the corner, splashing done. This has been a war. And it's not showing any signs of ending soon. Small package driver. Done. Able to kick out. Can someone please tell me what it will take for one of these men to stay down for a count of three? Because even I don't know at this point. Every time Pete Dunn goes to that bitter end, Walter counters. Every time Walter goes to that set out pile driver, Dunn counters. Down on the knee again goes Pete Dunn. Into the middle of the ring now. Walter calling up the bruiser away. Will this be the time? He's teetering on the edge here. Walter. Say our pile driver. For, Will Pete Dunn stay down? Cover now. From the ring general. Two. And he got a near fall out of it. Fuck take more no. than <laughs> Pete Dunn will not stay down. Walter won't stay down either. He could go to a time limit draw at this rate. Walter, got the legs are done. Oh my god. And now in the corner is done. Walter rushes in, fools rush in. And it's not worked for Walter. Pete Dunn, strong Irish whip into the turnbuckle. Now working once again on the arm of the ring general and a cover Walter fights out too early in the match to end it we were literally 21 and a half minutes in how is this too early there's a weight fall by Walter right hand you're done Pete Dunn was about to receive an end of something big by Walter, but manages to fight He's out. Taking Pete Dunn down at the leg. He's in full control now. And Walter being told to back off Dunn he here. Do Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn's body could be injured. It all on the line. That's a risk you have to take in a big title match like this. Injuries can happen. Walter with the elbow. Dunn avoids it. Just rake in the Breaking the face of Walter. Back elbow. Dunn gets taken out. Look at the blood on Pete Dunn. The bruiser weight. And the ring general. I don't think I've ever been in wars like this. Maybe they have, but not for not since they joined WWE. Walter takes down Pete Dunn. And now sending a bit of a return here. Stomping on the legs of the bruiser weight. What Pete Dunn's been doing to Walter the entire match. Shoulder, Shoulder tackle. tackle. I don't know if Pete Dunn physically is able to fight back at this point. Oh. I think it might go to the ring general. The UK title might be going to Imperium. Top rope now goes done. Thanks to the assistance of Walter. And, and this is, time Pete Dunn are able to fight it off. To Got wrench. Oh, on the side of Dunn, the suplex there. Nat might call time on this match. One, two. And he's able to get out. He's still in this. Bruiser Wade would stay down. Oh, uppercut. uppercut. 
It's got to the point where I don't think Pete Dunne could actually fight back. Just as I say that, he, maybe a last chance, maybe a second wind here for Dunne. Shot down quickly by Walter. Northern Lights suplex. And again, Dunne fights out. Walter just trying to capitalize as quick as he can He's here. Ring rattling by Walter. Dunn kicks out again. Dunn reverses with an elbow. Walter fights Lamb to Dunn. And the sleeper hold. Will this capture the title? Pete Dunn. How was he taking the legs apart from Walter here? How was he fought out of the sleeper? First a cell tombstone, another sleeper. What is the bruiser weight? An unnatural man. Now bruiser weight, Pete Dunn. Sending Walter to the corner, the clothesline to the back of the head. Somebody's on a mission tonight. And what's the plan now? If you're bruiser weight, Pete Dunn, now that you've got the control back. Try not to let yourself go overpowered by Walter would be the first idea, but it's already happened. Pete Dunn catches Walter though. Into the corner, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I always miscount them for some reason, unless he does 11. And Pete Dunn back to the legs. Neither is Mel be able to walk regardless, but Pete Dunn making sure Walter won't be able to kick out by Walter. Walter fighting up, fight strong, chop block by Dunn. DDT, any means necessary. Walter just fighting up like it's nothing, but done with a forearm. Walter with back elbows. Inverted suplex. How did one of these guys, I've, I've said it many times now, I don't even know because we're reaching the half hour mark of this match. How does one of these guys keep the other one down? Oh, into a big boot. How'd you put one of these men down for a three? I hate to know because nothing seems to be working for either of these men. Pete Dunn just straight back up and into a big boot again. And it might be that Pete Dunn's taking too much punishment. He's just delirious at this point. Walter playing Dunn on the knee. And up. Now Pete Dunn gets at the behest of Walter. And this might be... The end of Pete Dunn. The sit out pile driver once again by Walter. If Pete Dunn gets up from this, I don't even know what it will take. Walter with the cover. He's got him covered. One, two. Walter, after a phenomenal match, becomes the United Kingdom champion. The fight that both these men put in. Bitter ends. Sell out pile drivers, sleeper holds. Walter repeatedly dropping Pete Dunn on his knee. And of course, there you saw it. The just charging him through the barricade. A legendary performance. Both these men just put on the performances of their lives. And Pete Dunn definitely deserves another shot at the UK title, in my opinion, after that performance. But the victor is the Imperium leader. Power comes out over speed here. Look at the blood trickling down the body and the face of Walter, but he doesn't care because he is the United Kingdom champion. But ladies and gentlemen, that will end episode 20 of my WWE 2K19 Universe Mode. Up next is Backlash, and I hope you guys will enjoy that. Like I hope you guys have enjoyed this. See you next time.